With a solemn face, Mayor Bloomberg paid a call on the Kletsky family in Borough Park as they mourned their eight-year-old son, Libby. The commissioner and I expressed our condolences to parents and grandparents and siblings, and there's not a lot else we can say. I don't know why God sometimes does some things. Levy Aaron is charged with kidnapping the boy, murdering him, and dismembering the body. The NYPD's crime scene unit was back at Aaron's home on East 2nd Street Monday, continuing to gather evidence. The investigation is continuing to go forward. Obviously, any information we get will be uh, uh, given to the uh, uh, district attorney. Aaron's defense lawyers say they spent about two and a half hours with him inside the psychiatric ward at Bellevue Hospital, and they say he appears to be mentally unstable. He's been hearing voices for quite some time. He tries to quell some of the voices by listening to uh, music, and he listens to it with earphones, and, and he listens to it very loud, and that helps him quell some of his voices. His lawyers say they are waiting for the police and the Brooklyn District Attorney to give them the written confession police say Aaron made about the crime. They also want the results of court-ordered psychiatric examinations. We're going to have uh, independent uh, experts of our own choosing to examine them as well. Brooklyn Assemblyman Dove Hyken says whatever the mental state of the defendant, the facts of the case are clear to him. A lot of people, you know, they say, well, he looked a little odd, a little weird. A lot of us look odd and weird. It doesn't mean we're capable of smothering an eight-year-old. Let's just keep in mind that this 35-year-old adult picked up an eight-year-old child. What was he going to do with that child? A child now mourned by a community and the city. In Brooklyn, Dean Meminger, New York One.